I wanted to do a video about why I don't celebrate Christmas, okay? Now, to be fair, I shouldn't say I don't celebrate Christmas. I don't observe Christmas. Of course, if I have family members, which I don't have any anymore, but when I had family members and uh, when my ex-girlfriend's son was younger, I celebrated Christmas in the sense that I would uh, get gifts for people because they observed Christmas. I personally haven't observed Christmas since I was a young child. And the reason why is because what people need to understand, um, in the Puritan sense, okay, Christmas was a pagan holiday, and it is a pagan holiday. There's more, there's more in Christmas that has to do with Persian traditions, um, Roman traditions, and of course Nordic and Germanic traditions, than really have to do with uh, Christianity. Also, as I've stated, I'm not a Christian, I'm a scientific pantheist. But one of the things that's interesting is a lot of the negative things... See, the problem is Christianity... I don't believe is at a point where it can salvage Christmas. Uh, Christmas has become a capitalist globalist holiday and a means to promote capitalist globalism, which is one reason I actually used to like Thanksgiving so much, is Thanksgiving was one of the only uh, U.S. holidays that actually promoted Thanksgiving. And now it's become the same thing, except now it's a holiday of white guilt and uh, football. <laughs> But my point is, is this. Okay, a lot of people know about Oliver Cromwell. Oliver Cromwell took over England, deposed the king, and deposed the king of England, and uh, they banned Christmas because Christmas was considered not good. Okay, because of the drunkenness, the revelry, and all that good stuff. Well, what happened was, of course, the English people couldn't deal with the fact that they weren't allowed to get loaded, so they reinst they reinstated the king. Okay. My point is, is that the celebration of Christmas, holidays I have a view as a thing for children. There's something for children to enjoy. Um, and if people are going to celebrate holidays, now I don't observe any holidays. I just don't do it. I don't think it's worth my time. It's not worth my effort. But if one is to observe holidays, for example, one should observe like the solstices and cross quarters, not out of a pagan view, but from a scientific pantheistic view, the solstices and cross quarters are the holidays made by God, and that God is nature. Um, the other holidays are artificial holidays made by man. So if you're adopting a man-centered creed, okay, you're not adopting a God-centered creed, and that God-centered creed is the creed of scientific pantheism, whether as pantheistic Christianity or straight scientific pantheism such as that which I adopt. My point is, is that the celebration of holidays like Christmas lend to confusion and lend to taking one's views off of, which, off of where they need to be, which is self-betterment, the betterment of the community, and things like that. Occasionally, some people will volunteer on Christmas and things of that nature, but it's usually short-lived. It's the same thing with New Year's. New Year's is not New Year's. <laughs> That we do not follow a true solar year. In fact, the winter solstice is technically New Year's, or wherever, whichever solstice or cross quarter you wish to start the new year on would be the new year. Uh, traditionally, it would be the winter solstice, but you get my point. The point is Christi Christmas is not, it doesn't have much to do with Christianity, and has been um, basically destroyed by capitalist globalism. And I think it is more beneficial to take a Puritan approach toward the celebration of Christmas, meaning don't celebrate it. Although, again, with children and things of that nature, I do think it's appropriate to adopt at least a, a secular stance of Christianity. And I'm not against manger scenes or people celebrating Christmas if they choose to. I'm just saying these are the reasons I choose not to observe Christmas.